Hey, Jimmy. How are you today? Hey, Tom. I'm okay. A little tired, though. Why is that? Is something wrong? No, nothing is wrong. It's just work. It's very busy. Really? Why is it so busy? We have many tasks to do. More than usual. It's hard to finish everything. That sounds tough. Do you have to work late? Yes, I often work late. Sometimes I even work on weekends. Oh, no. That's too much. You should take care of your health. Yes, I know. But there is so much to do. Do you get help? Maybe your team can help you. Yes, we work as a team. But everyone is busy. Everyone has a lot to do. That's not good. You should tell your boss. Maybe they can find a solution. Maybe. But I don't want to complain. I don't want to cause trouble. It's not causing trouble. It's about your health. It's important to rest and relax. Yes, you're right. I should talk to my boss. Yes, you should. Also, remember to eat well and sleep well. That can help you handle stress. I know, but it's hard to sleep when I'm worried about work. Yes, it can be hard. But try to relax before you go to bed. Maybe read a book or listen to some music. That's a good idea. I will try that. Good. And remember, it's okay to take a break. It's okay to say no. Yes, I will remember that. Thank you for your advice. You're welcome. If you need to talk, just call me. Hello, teacher. Can I talk to you? Of course. How can I help you? I want to get better at English. Can you give me advice? I'm glad you're eager to improve. Do you have any specific areas you're struggling with? I think I need to get better at speaking and writing. I want to be more confident. Knowing what you want to improve is the first step. Let's start with speaking. Practice is key. Speak English as much as you can. You can do it with friends or even by talking to yourself. I can do that. And what about writing? For writing, practice is also important. Start a journal in English. Write about your day or your thoughts. You can also read more. When you read, you see how sentences are structured and how words are used. It's very helpful. I like reading. I can try to read more English books. That's a great idea. And don't just read. Write down new words. Try to use them in sentences. This will expand your vocabulary. That sounds like a good idea. I can do that. Good. You can also watch English movies or shows. Listening to native speakers can help your pronunciation and listening skills. Yes, I watch some English movies. I can try to watch more. That's good. But remember, don't just watch. Listen closely. Repeat after the characters. This will help your speaking skills. I see. I will try that. What else can I do? You can also use language learning apps. Some of them are free. They can be very helpful. Oh, I never thought of that. I can check them out. Yes, they can be very helpful. And also, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Making mistakes is part of learning. Yes, I understand. I just need to keep practicing. Exactly. It's all about practice and persistence. And don't forget, I'm here to help. If you have any problems, you can always ask me. Thank you, teacher. You gave me many good ideas. I will try to do all these things. You're welcome. Remember, learning a language takes time. Be patient with yourself. And most importantly, have fun with it. Hey, can I ask you something? I'm new here, and I was wondering if you know any good places to see in the city? Yes, sure. Welcome to the city. There are many places to see here. Do you like any things in particular? Personally, I love learning about a city's past and its traditions. Then you should definitely go to our city museum. It tells you about the city's old times and culture. The building of the museum is also very beautiful. That sounds good. What about art? Are there any good places for art? Yes. We have a big city art gallery. They have many beautiful works of art. They also have new exhibitions all year. That sounds nice. How about places where I can eat and shop? 
Any nice places to do that? Yes. You could go to the nearby shopping mall. They have some great small shops, and they also have plenty of places to eat. I will try these places. What about outside activities? I like nature and sun. Yeah, we have a beautiful city park. It's a good place for a walk. It has a nice lake and many walking paths. There's also a garden with rare plants next to it. Thank you for all these ideas. I'm excited to see everything. You'll definitely enjoy it here. The city is full of life, and there are more things to do. Music shows, theater, and other events. I can't wait to start exploring. Thank you for your help. I'm happy to help. Enjoy your stay. I will. Thanks again. You're welcome. Have fun discovering the city. Hey, Jenny. How are you doing today? I know your mom's been quite sick, so I just wanted to check in on you and see how you're going. Yeah, it's been a difficult time. I appreciate you checking in on me. Of course, Jenny. We're friends. So how is she going? Has there been any progress? Thankfully, yes. She was really ill when she first went in, but now she's showing signs of recovery. The doctors say her health is improving slowly. I'm so relieved to hear that. It's always hard when someone you love is unwell. Yes, it really is. But knowing she's getting better makes things a bit easier. That's true. And remember, your mental health is also important in times like these. I know. It's hard, but I'm trying to stay strong for her and the family. You're doing great. Trust me. Just remember to also take care of yourself. I'll try. Thanks for reminding me. It's no problem at all. Can I do anything to help? Would be okay if I came to visit or brought you guys some home-cooked meals? That's really kind of you to offer, right now. The doctors want her to rest and limit visitors, but the meal idea sounds nice. I understand. Then how about I drop off some meals at your house? That way you don't have to worry about cooking and can focus on your mom. That would be very helpful. Thank you so much. It's no trouble at all. I'm here for you. And when your mom is up to it, maybe we could cheer her up with some of her favorite things. That sounds wonderful. She loves roses. Seeing them would certainly make her day. Great. Let's do that then. We'll bring some roses when she feels up to having visitors. She would love that. You're such a good friend. I'm just doing what friends do. Please let me know if there's anything else I can do to help, okay? I will. Thanks again for all your support. Anytime. You're not alone in this. Remember that. We'll navigate through this together. Yes, we will. Thanks for being there for me. Of course. Take care and do keep me updated about your mom's health. Hey son, we need to have a little chat about something I've noticed lately. What is it, Dad? Well, it seems like you're spending a lot of time on your phone. I often see you scrolling on it. Yeah, I chat with my friends a lot on social media. It's kind of our thing. I can understand that, son. Social media has its benefits, and it's a new way of communication. However, I feel that you're using it excessively. It's important to remember that balance is key. But social media is just how we stay connected. It's different from when you were my age. Yes, son, I understand that times have changed. Social media wasn't a thing when I was your age. But remember, everything has its pros and cons. I know, Dad, but it's tough. All my friends are always online. It feels like if I'm not there, I'll miss out. Fear of missing out is common. But son, there's a world beyond the screen too. It's filled with real experiences and adventures. Don't you miss playing football in the park or reading your favorite comic books? Of course I do, Dad. But it's just that social media has become an important part of our lives. I get that, son. But it's crucial to create a balance. Remember how you loved painting and cycling. Those activities help you relax and also keep you physically fit. It's important not to forget, though. You're right, Dad. I haven't painted or cycled in a long time. I just feel like I don't have the time. And that's why we're having this conversation, son. 
You can make time for other activities too if you cut down a bit on your screen time. It's not about completely stopping your social media use, but managing it better. I understand your point, Dad, but it's easier said than done. I know it's not easy, son. Change isn't easy. But think of it this way. By reducing your screen time, you're opening up more opportunities for real-life experiences. That's true, Dad. I guess I'll give it a thought. That's all I'm asking for, son. Reflect on it. And remember, I'm here to support you no matter what. Now, how about we dust off those old bikes and go for a ride? That sounds like a great idea, Dad. I can't even remember the last time we rode bikes together. Good to hear, son. Let's make the most of this day, shall we? Yep, let's do that. Hey, Greg, I've recently started going for runs in the morning and I've been feeling so good because of it. You should join me next time. Morning runs? Sounds fun, but I really don't like waking up early. I know. It's hard getting up early, but it's very good for your health. I promise you'll feel better once you get used to it. Hmm, I'm not so sure. It sounds like a lot of work. It's not as hard as you think. Start by setting your alarm clock a bit earlier every day, maybe 15 minutes. In a few days, your body will get used to the new time. Okay. But won't it be too cold that early in the morning? At first, yes. But as you run, your body warms up. You'll hardly notice the cold after a while. I guess. But I don't really have good running shoes. You don't need fancy shoes to start. Any comfortable pair will do. Later, if you like running, you can get better shoes. But what if I get too tired? I'm not very fit. That's okay. You can start slow. Maybe walk first, then run. As you do it more, you'll get stronger. Then you can run longer. You make a good argument, but it still sounds hard. I won't lie. It is hard at first. But think of how good you'll feel. You'll have more energy during the day, and you'll be stronger and healthier. And, you know, we can chat while we run. It will be fun. Okay, you've convinced me. I guess I could give it a try. That's the spirit. We can start tomorrow, okay? All right, I'll try. But remember, I'm not a morning person. Don't worry. We'll take it slow. I'm excited. It's going to be great. We'll see about that. My dear, did you remember that we have planned dinner with my parents this weekend? Yes, I remember. You're talking about this Saturday, aren't you? That's right, this Saturday. And remember, we should leave a bit earlier to avoid traffic. My parents will be waiting. I understand, but I should tell you, I'm not feeling quite myself today. Really? What's the problem, honey? I've got this nagging headache and I feel worn out. I suspect I'm catching a cold or something. That doesn't sound good at all. Did you take any medicine? Not yet. I was hoping it would clear up on its own, but it's not getting any better. That's concerning. You should definitely rest and consider taking some medication. If you're still feeling unwell, we could perhaps postpone our visit. I'm a little reluctant. I don't want to let them down. They will understand, I'm sure. After all, health comes first. You're right, but I know how much they look forward to these visits. They do, but they would certainly prefer you to be in good health rather than come and risk feeling worse. They care about you. Yes, I suppose you're right. I'll monitor my condition tomorrow and see how I feel. Good. Now let's get you into bed and I'll fetch you some medicine. We have a few days left before the dinner. Let's hope you feel better by then. But remember, it's okay if you don't. My parents will understand. And you should prioritize your health over everything else. I really appreciate your understanding. I'll try to rest now and hopefully I'll bounce back in no time. Let's do our best to keep you healthy and we can worry about the dinner later. Now get some rest, love. Hey, Tom. Do you want to go see a movie at the cinema with me? That sounds great. I love going to the cinema. But what's on at the moment? Not sure. I think we should look up the movie times and see what's playing at our local cinema. 
Yes, that's a great idea. I hope that there's something we'll both enjoy. All right. I had a look at the movies playing at the cinema. It looks like there are a few different films showing. An action movie, a comedy, a romance film, and a sci-fi movie. Action movies aren't really my thing. Too much noise and not enough story, you know. But a comedy might be fun. I know what you mean about action films. I personally do enjoy them. But I can see why they aren't everyone's cup of tea. And I've heard some good things about the sci-fi film, too. Oh, really? What's the sci-fi film called? It's called Star Worlds. The reviews look promising. Should we see that? That does sound exciting, but I'm not sure I want to see a sci-fi movie. I was hoping for something a little more relaxing. What about the comedy film? The comedy movie is called Laugh Out Loud. It's about a regular guy who bets his friends that he can make the most serious person in town burst out laughing. That could be a good laugh. I could use something lighthearted. What's your opinion? Well, I think they both sound good in their own ways. Star Worlds would surely be an epic journey, but Laugh Out Loud seems like it could provide some much-needed laughs. You're right, and I think you've convinced me. Let's go for the comedy. It's been a while since I watched a funny movie. Agreed. Let's see Laugh Out Loud at the cinema. I'm sure it will be a lot of fun. I think so, too. I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. I'll buy the tickets online now to make sure we get good seats. Thanks for sorting that out. I appreciate it. No worries at all. I think we should meet at the cinema about an hour before the movie starts. That will give us time to get snacks. Oh, yes. I can't watch a movie without popcorn. Sounds like a plan. Perfect. This is going to be fun. Can't wait to see the movie and have a good laugh. Hey, Sam. I just started listening to podcasts. Do you know any good podcasts worth recommending to me? Oh, really? I listen to podcasts all the time. What kind of podcasts are you interested in? Well, I like stories and interesting facts. Something fun and easy to follow. Great. I think you might like a podcast called Fun Facts with Freddie. It's about fun facts and strange things in life. Wow, that sounds interesting. What kind of strange things do they talk about? It explores the hidden side of things. Like why we do what we do and what connects everything. It's fun and you learn lots. Sounds good. Any other recommendations? If you like stories, try the moth. Real people tell their own interesting stories. Some stories are funny. Some are serious. It's very good. That sounds like something I'd enjoy. I love real stories, so I'll check it out. Thanks for the tips. No problem. Enjoy listening. Let me know how you find them. I can suggest more if you want. I sure will. Thanks a lot, buddy. I'm really excited to get into these. You're welcome. Podcasts are a great way to learn and have fun. Hey, Jimmy, how was your weekend? Hello, Tom. My weekend was good, but busy. How about you? I had a quiet weekend at home. Why was your weekend so busy? On Saturday, I woke up early. I helped my dad in the garden. After, I helped my little sister with her schoolwork. You worked hard, but it's nice to help your family. Yes, I like to help. And then on Sunday, I played football with my friends. We did not win, but we had fun. That's good. Playing sports can be fun, and it's good for your health. Yes, I like to play football. And then I finished my weekend off by visiting my grandparents. It's nice to spend time with family. Yes, I love my grandparents. They always tell fun stories. So my weekend was busy but good. Sounds like a good weekend. I'm glad you had a nice time. Thanks. Family is important to me, so I always make time for them on the weekends. I agree. Family and friends are very important. Yes. So 
My weekend was busy, but I enjoyed it. I hope you have a good week, Tom. I hope you have a good week, too. Let's talk again soon. Yes, let's do that. Goodbye, Tom. See you later, Jimmy. So, I am thinking about having a dinner party at my house. But I have never done it before. Can you give me some tips? Of course, I'd be happy to help. Do you know how many people you want to invite? I was thinking about inviting eight people. Is that too many or too little? No, eight people is a good number. It's not too crowded and it's not too empty either. Now, have you thought about what kind of food you want to serve? I am a bit worried about that. I am not a very good cook. What should I do? Well, the best thing to do is to stick with what you know. Don't try to make a complex dish for the first time for your dinner party. Maybe you can prepare some simple pasta and a fresh salad. That sounds doable. But what about drinks? I don't know what people like to drink. A good host usually has a variety of drinks. Some people like wine, some like beer, and some prefer soft drinks. And don't forget water. It's always a good idea to have both still and sparkling water. Good point. But how should I welcome my guests? What if I am busy cooking when they arrive? You should try to prepare as much as possible before your guests arrive. If you are still busy, it's completely fine to greet them and let them know that you are just finishing up. Okay. I will ask my sister to come early and help me. Is there anything else I should keep in mind? Yes, setting the atmosphere is also very important. Make sure to set your table before your guests arrive and have some soft music playing in the background. This will help your guests to relax. Thank you. I feel a little less stressed now. I'm glad. Just remember, the main thing is to enjoy the evening with your friends. If you are relaxed and having fun, your guests will too. You're right. I will keep that in mind. Thanks again for your help. You're welcome. If you have any other questions or if you need any more help, don't hesitate to ask me. I will. Thanks. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm sure it will be great. Good luck. Hello, Tom. How did your dinner party go? Hey, Rachel. The dinner party went well. It was a lot of work, but it was worth it. That's great. Did all eight of your guests arrive? Yes, all of them came. Some of them were friends from work. My neighbors came, my cousin came, and my sister came too. That sounds fun. How did the cooking go? It went well. I cooked chicken and rice. I also made a salad, like you said. That sounds very tasty. It was good. Everyone liked the food. They said it was delicious. That's wonderful. Good food makes a good party. Yes, it does. We also played games after dinner. Oh, nice. What games did you play? We played board games. It was very fun. I like board games. They are a fun way to spend time with friends. Yes, they are. We played Monopoly and everyone had a good time. That sounds like a great party. Yes, it was. But I was very tired after the party. I can understand. It's hard work to plan and host a party. Yes, it is. But I'm happy everyone had a good time. That's the most important thing. Definitely. Thanks for helping me plan the party. You're welcome. I'm glad it went well. Yes, me too. Next time you should come. I'd love to, Tom. Let's talk soon. Absolutely. Let's speak tomorrow. Bye, Rachel. See you later. Hey, Jenny. How is your new puppy going? The puppy is so much fun. Thanks for asking. That's great. What is her name? Her name is Bella. She is very small and cute. That's a nice name. What does Bella like to do? Bella likes to play a lot. She runs around in the yard and plays with her toys. That sounds very cute. Does she sleep well at night? Well, she is a puppy, so she wakes up a few times during the night. But we are trying to train her to sleep through the night. Training a puppy can be hard work. 
Yes, it can be. But Bella is learning fast. She is very smart. That's great. Have you taken Bella to the vet? Yes, we took her to the vet last week. The vet said she is very healthy. That's good to hear. Have you started training her? Yes, we are teaching her some simple commands, like sit and stay. She is starting to understand them. That's fantastic. Training a new puppy takes time and patience. Yes, it does. But Bella is a quick learner. She sounds like a wonderful puppy. She is. She brings so much joy to our home. I'm very happy for you. Puppies bring lots of love and happiness. Yes, they do. Thanks for asking about Bella. You're welcome. I'd love to meet her one day. That would be great. We should arrange a time soon. Yes. Let's do that. Talk to you later. Yes. Talk to you later. Goodbye, Jenny. Hey, Larry. How is business going? Hi, Jenny. Yes, my cafe business is okay. But things are a bit tough right now. Oh, no. What's wrong? Are people not coming? No, it's not that. We still have regular customers. The problem is the costs. Everything is getting more expensive. That sounds hard. Have you thought about increasing the prices of the food and drinks? Yes, I have. But I'm worried. If I make things more expensive, people might stop coming. They can go to other cafes that are cheaper. That's a fair point. But if your costs are higher, people will understand that you need to increase prices. Maybe. But I don't want to lose my customers. They're like family to me. I know them all by name. That's very kind of you. Maybe you can talk to them about it. They may understand your situation. That's not a bad idea. I could explain to them why I have to increase the prices. Yes, and maybe you could find ways to save money in other areas. For example, could you buy your ingredients in bulk to get a discount? That's a good thought. I can look into that. I also thought about creating some special deals like a coffee and cake deal for a cheaper price. That sounds like a great idea. It could attract more people to come. Yes, I hope so. I just want my cafe to keep going. I love this job and my customers. I know you do. And your cafe is a special place. I believe it will get better. Thank you. I appreciate your support. It's a hard time, but I am not giving up. That's the spirit. If you need help, or someone to talk to, you know where to find me. Hey, Jessica. You know I'm trying to get better at English, right? Yes, you told me. You're doing well so far, by the way. Thanks, but I still feel I have a long way to go. I was hoping you could help me practice more. Sure, I'd be happy to. How about we do this? I ask you questions and you try to answer them in English. Sounds good. It will be a good chance to practice my speaking skills. Great. Let's start. Tell me about your family. I have a small family. There's my father, mother, and younger sister. My father is a doctor and my mother is a teacher. Nice. And what about your sister? My sister is a student. She is studying science at the university. That's interesting. Now, can you describe your city to me? I live in a big city. It's very busy with many people. There are tall buildings and lots of shops. We have parks too, which are very beautiful. Good job. What do you like most about your city? I like the people. Everyone is very friendly. I also like the food. There are many different kinds of food to try. Sounds like a lovely place. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. I like it because it has cheese and tomatoes. It's very tasty. Great choice. Now, can you tell me about your hobbies? Yes, I like reading books and playing football. I also like to watch movies with my friends. Nice. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Lion King. I like it because it has a good story and beautiful music. I love that movie too. Now. Can you describe your best friend to me? 
My best friend is very kind and funny. He always makes me laugh. He's very smart and helps me with my studies. He sounds like a great friend. Lastly, what's your dream job? My dream job is to be an engineer. I like to solve problems and build things. That's a fantastic goal. You did really well answering these questions. We should do this more often. Thank you. I feel more confident now. Yes, let's do this again soon. Sure. I'm here anytime you need practice. Just let me know. I will. Thanks again for your help. I really appreciate it. No problem at all. Keep practicing and you'll get better. Don't worry. Hey, Brian. It is good to see you. How are you? Hello, Sarah. I'm good. It's nice to see you, too. I want to know about your new girlfriend. How are things going with her? Things are going great. She's very nice and sweet. That's good to hear. I'm happy for you. What do you like about her? She's kind. She listens to me. She's funny, and she's very beautiful. That's very nice. It sounds like you really like her. Yes, I do. I think I want to marry her. Wow. That's big news. But are you sure? That's a big step. Yes, I know. But I feel very sure. I think she's the one for me. That's a big decision. But don't you think it's too fast? Maybe. But when you know, you know. And I feel like I know. Yes, but love can make us think in a rush. Maybe you should take more time to know her. I know what you're saying, but I feel different with her. I feel very sure. I understand, but it's a big step. Marriage is not just about love. I know that. I know it's also about understanding, respect, and working together. Yes, that's right. Have you talked about this with her? Not yet. I want to talk to her soon. I want to know what she thinks. That's a good idea. But remember, it's important to listen to her feelings, too. Yes, I will. I care about her feelings. I want to make her happy. That's good. It's about making each other happy. Yes, I know. I think we can make each other happy. We have a good relationship. That's great to hear. Marriage is also about being there for each other, in good times and bad times. I understand. I believe we can be there for each other. I believe we can handle it. Marriage is also a long journey. It's not just about the wedding day. Yes, I know. It's about living together, sharing life, and growing together. That's right. It's about sharing joys, challenges, and even simple everyday moments. It does seem like you've put a lot of thought into this. Yes, I have put lots of thought into this decision, and I look forward to doing all of that with her. That's beautiful. But also remember, there's no rush. Take your time. Yes, I'll remember that. Thank you for your advice. You're welcome. I just want you to be happy. Hey, Fred. I've been thinking about something lately. What's on your mind, Sam? Well, I've been thinking about buying a house. You know, get my own place and settle down. That sounds like a big step. Have you been checking out house prices? Yes, I have, and that's the problem. Everything is just so expensive. Yeah, I understand. The cost of houses is really high these days. But don't worry, many people are dealing with this. That's true. I just thought by this time in my life, I'd have my own place. But the cost makes it seem impossible. Yeah, it's hard. But, you know, there are other things you can do with your money. Like what? Well, have you ever thought about traveling the world? You're still young, and it could be an amazing experience. Traveling the world? That sounds nice. But wouldn't that be just as expensive? Well, it can be. But it also depends on how you travel. There are a lot of budget-friendly options. You could stay in hostels, eat local food, and take public transportation. I see your point. But wouldn't all that money be gone in the end? At least with a house, I have something to show for it. That's a fair point. But think about the experiences you'll gain, the people you'll meet, and the cultures you'll learn about. Those are priceless. I see what you mean. Those experiences would be very valuable. 
but I can't shake off the idea of owning a home. And that's okay. It's a big decision, and it's entirely up to you. You could even do both. Buy a smaller, more affordable place and save some money for travel. That sounds like a good idea. I didn't think about that. Maybe I don't need a big house. Exactly. Sometimes it's not about having the biggest or the best. It's about finding what makes you happy and satisfied. You're right. I need to think about what I truly want. Maybe I've been too focused on this idea of a big house. It's easy to get caught up in what society expects of us. But remember, it's your life, and you should do what makes you happy. You're right. Whether it's buying a smaller house, traveling, or even both, I should think about what I really want. Exactly, buddy. Thanks, man. I appreciate you introducing me to a different perspective. Of course. And remember, there's no rush. These are big decisions. Take your time. You're right. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Now, how about we grab some lunch? Sounds like a plan. Let's go. I'm glad we were finally able to go on the date, Susie. I'm glad we could do this too, Jerry. So, how was your day? It was good. Quite busy at work, but otherwise fine. How about yours? Pretty much the same as you. Busy, but good. Me too. So tell me something about you that I don't know yet. Let's see. Well, I'm a big fan of astronomy. I love stargazing, and I often spend nights looking at the stars. What about you? That's interesting. I love music. I play the guitar in my free time. It helps me relax. That's cool. I'd love to hear you play sometime. What kind of music do you like? I like all kinds of music, but I have a soft spot for jazz. How about you? I enjoy jazz, too. I also like classical music. It's very soothing. I agree. So where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I hope to be working in a job I love, living in a nice house, and maybe even have a pet. What about you? Similar to you, I hope to be successful in my career and living a happy and fulfilling life. That sounds wonderful. Do you have any exciting plans for the future? Yes, I'm planning to travel more. I'd love to explore different countries and cultures. What about you? I have the same plans. I'd love to travel to places I've never been before. That sounds exciting. Which places are on your list? I'd love to visit Italy, Greece, and Japan. How about you? I'd love to visit France and Spain. I've heard great things about them. They sound like great choices. Do you have any favorite books or movies? I love the Harry Potter series of books. As for movies, I love classics, like The Godfather. How about you? My favorite book is To Kill a Mockingbird. As for movies, Shawshank Redemption is a favorite. Those are great choices. So how do you spend your weekends usually? I like to relax, maybe read a book or watch a movie. I also enjoy hiking. And you? I usually spend time with my friends, going to a movie or a concert or something like that. I also like to paint sometimes. You're an artist. That's amazing. I'd love to see your work sometime. Sure. I'd be happy to show you. Anyway, it's getting late. Maybe we should call it a night? Yes, I think so. I had a great time tonight. Would you like to do this again? I'd love that. Let's plan for next week. Good morning, dear. How did you sleep? Good morning. I slept well, but had a strange dream. Oh, really? What was your dream about? Well, I was actually flying, like a bird in the sky. It was very strange. Wow. Flying in your dream? That sounds fun. Yes, but it was not normal flying. I was flying over a city full of tall buildings. That sounds like a big city. Do you know which city it was? I don't know. It was not a city I know. 
It was a city I've never seen before. That sounds interesting. What else happened in your dream? After flying for some time, I landed on top of a big building. Did you meet anyone on the building? Yes, actually. There was a man there. He was wearing a suit and tie. A man in a suit. That's strange. Did he say anything? He did. He asked me why I was flying. I didn't know what to say. That's very strange. So what happened next? I started to fly again. I flew over the ocean. Over the ocean, you say? That sounds beautiful. It was. I could see dolphins and whales in the water. Wow, that's amazing. But it definitely does sound like a strange dream. Yes, it was. Then I woke up and I was in our bed. I guess dreams can be so strange sometimes, but they can also be fun. Yes, it was fun. But I'm happy to be awake now. Me too. It's good to start a new day. What do you want for breakfast? I'd like some toast and coffee. How about you? I'll have the same. I'll go make it now. That sounds good. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Let's enjoy our breakfast and start our day. Yes, let's do that. And maybe tonight I'll dream of something less strange. I hope so, dear. But even if you do, it's always interesting to hear about your dreams. Thank you for listening. I'm glad I can share my strange dreams with you. Hey there, do you know when the next bus is due? I think in about 10 minutes. The schedule is usually accurate. Oh, good. This is my first time taking this route. I'm new in town. Welcome to the city. How do you find it so far? It's quite nice, but there's a lot to learn and places to explore. I can imagine. It took me some time to get used to it when I first moved here. How long have you been living here? About five years now, actually. I moved for a job and ended up really liking it here. That's great. What type of work do you do? I work in a tech company. We create computer software. What about you? I'm a teacher. Just got a job at the local high school. Oh, teaching is a noble job. I'm sure you'll enjoy the community here. The high school has a good reputation. I've heard good things about it. Do you have any advice for a newcomer like me? Sure. There are some really nice parks around. Great for a quiet afternoon or a jog. And there's a local theater that puts on great shows. I love theater. I will have to check that out. Also, there's an annual carnival every summer. It's a fun event. There are games, food stalls, and local bands perform. That sounds exciting. I'll look forward to it. You'll get to know the city better with time. It's a great place. And people are friendly. I'm starting to see that. Everyone has been really helpful. That's good to hear. If you need anything else, feel free to ask. I live just down the road from here. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Anyway, looks like the bus is coming now. Thanks for the company. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Have a good day. Hey, Tom. How was your holiday in Europe? Hey, Susan. It was wonderful. I visited many different cities. Really? Which cities did you go to? I went to Paris, Rome, Amsterdam, and Berlin. That sounds fantastic. Which city did you like best? That's hard. Each city was unique, but I think Rome was my favorite. Rome? I've always wanted to go there. Why did you like it so much? The history, the food, the people, everything was great. Did you see the Colosseum? Yes, I did. It was amazing. It was really big and old. I've only seen it in pictures. I imagine it would be better in person. It is. You can feel the history. You know, gladiators fought there long ago. That's really cool. And what about the food? Was it as good as they say? The food was delicious. I ate a lot of pizza and pasta. That sounds delicious. Did you try any new foods? Yes, I actually ate snails in Paris. 
They tasted better than I thought. Really? I don't think I could eat snails. I thought the same, but it was good. You should try new things. I guess so. Did you meet any interesting people? I met many people. Everyone was friendly. I also met some other travelers from different countries. That's one of the best parts of traveling, meeting new people. Yes, you're right. I made some new friends. It's good to learn about other cultures. Did you face any problems during your trip? Once I lost my map in Amsterdam. But a kind person helped me. That's nice. It is good to know there are helpful people everywhere. Yes, it made my trip better. Now, I want to plan my next trip. That's the spirit. Where do you plan to go next? I'm thinking about Asia, maybe Japan or China. That sounds like a great idea. I'm sure you'll have a wonderful time. I hope so. I'll tell you about it when I come back. I look forward to hearing about it. Welcome back, my friend. Thank you. It's good to be home. Hey, Sarah, I have something to tell you. I want to start a new diet. I think it will help me lose weight. Oh, really? That sounds like a big change. What kind of diet is it? It's a balanced diet. More fruits and vegetables. Less sugar and fat. That sounds healthy. It's good to eat more fruits and vegetables. But why do you want to lose weight? I want to be more healthy. Also, I want to look better. I see. That sounds like a good plan. How can I help? Well, I was thinking. Maybe you want to join me. We can help each other. I'm not sure, Tom. I like to eat many things. I don't want to be restricted by a diet. Yes, I know. But think about it. We can support each other. It can be more fun. You're right. It can be fun, but it can also be hard. Yes, it can be hard, but together we can do it. Maybe you're right. It could be good for me, too. Yes, it's not just about losing weight. It's about being healthy. Okay, I will think about it. Can you tell me more about the diet? Sure. We will eat three meals a day. Lots of fruits and vegetables. Some meat and fish but not too much. And no sweets or junk food. No sweets. That will be hard for me. I like sweets. I know. It will be hard for me too, but we can do it. We can help each other. Okay, I will try, but I can't promise that I will stick to the diet as long as you do. That's okay. It's a start. We can help each other. We can talk about it. We can share our meals. Yes, we can do that. We can talk about our meals. We can share our progress. And we can exercise together, too. It will be more fun. Definitely. Exercise is important, too. Okay, I will do it. I will join your diet. Great. I'm happy to hear that. Together, we can do it. Hey, Brian. It's so good to see you again. It's been a long time. It sure has been. It's been over a year since we've caught up, Bruce. Yes, indeed. Too long, if you ask me. So how have you been? I've been good, thanks. I moved to a new city, so it's been a big change. What about you? Wow, that's a big move. As for me, I'm still here. Same old place. How do you like it? Do you still enjoy living here? I do. It's quiet and peaceful. But enough about me. Tell me more about your new city. Sure. It is much bigger and busier than our old town. There are lots of people and so many things to do. It's a bit scary, but exciting. That sounds like an adventure. Do you like your new job? Yes, I do. It's challenging, but I'm learning a lot. The people are nice, too. That's wonderful to hear. It's important to enjoy what you do. I agree. What about your job? Are you still at the same place? Yes, I am. Things are going well. I've been promoted, so that's been good. Wow. Congratulations. That's great news. Thank you. It's been a lot of hard work, but it's worth it. I'm sure it is. 
Do you still have that old dog of yours? Yes. Spot is still with us. He's getting older, but he's still as playful as ever. I'm glad to hear that. I remember him being such a friendly dog. He is. He's been great company, especially during these times. I can imagine. It's nice to have a pet. What about your family? How are they doing? They're doing well. Thanks for asking. Mom and Dad are enjoying their retirement, and my sister just had her second child. That's fantastic. So you're an uncle again. Yes, I am. It's a wonderful feeling. And what about your family? How are they? They're all good. My brother just moved out to start college, so that's exciting. It sure is. Time flies, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It's hard to believe it's been over a year since we last saw each other. I know. Let's make sure it does not take that long next time. I agree. It's always good to catch up with old friends. Hello there. I would like a coffee, please. Can I have an extra shot of espresso in it? Of course. One coffee with an extra shot of espresso. Would you like any milk or sugar in it? Yes, please. I'll have milk, but no sugar for me. All right. So, one coffee with an extra shot of espresso and a little milk. I'll make it now. Thank you. By the way, it's a nice place you have here. How long has it been open? Thanks for the compliment. This coffee shop has been open for about three years now. Three years? That's quite a while. It seems like a popular place. I see many people here. Yes, we're lucky to have many regular customers. It's nice to see familiar faces every day. It makes work enjoyable. That's great. What's your favorite part of the job? I think it's seeing people enjoy the coffee I make. It's a good feeling when someone takes that first sip and smiles. I can see why. I imagine you meet many different people here. Yes, I do. People from all walks of life come in. It's fascinating to hear their stories. I've met writers, doctors, teachers, students, and even actors. Wow, that sounds exciting. I bet you have many interesting conversations. Oh yes, definitely. Some of the best conversations I've had were right here over a cup of coffee. It's one of the things I love about this job. I see. Speaking of coffee, how did you learn to make coffee so well? Well, I went through a barista training course when I first started, but a lot of it comes with experience, practice, and a genuine love for coffee. It shows in your work. Your coffee always tastes great. Thank you. That means a lot. I always aim to make the best coffee I can. I believe everyone deserves a good cup of coffee. I agree. I think coffee is a nice, small pleasure in life. It certainly is. Here is your coffee. Enjoy. Thank you. I'm sure I will enjoy it. Keep up the good work. Thanks and enjoy your day. Come back anytime for a chat and a coffee. Hey, Tom. How is work going? Work is going good. Thanks for asking. There's actually a girl at work that I really like. Oh, that's interesting. What's she like? Her name's Emily. She works on the design team. She's really kind, always smiling and brightens up the room. I think I remember you mentioning her a few times. She sounds like a nice person. Have you considered asking her out? No way. I can't possibly do that. It just doesn't seem right to blend work life with personal life. Why do you say that? It's not uncommon. I mean, lots of people meet at work, strike up a connection, and fall in love. It's all very natural, isn't it? Yes, that might be true. But it can also complicate things. What if it doesn't work out between us? It could create an uncomfortable situation at work. I see where you're coming from. That is a possibility. But think about it. If you never make the move, you'll always be left wondering. What if she likes you too and is also scared of taking the first step? I've thought about that, but it's hard to tell. She's always nice to everyone. It's hard to decipher if she has any special feelings for me. Well, you don't necessarily have to ask her out right away. Start by getting to know her better. Build a friendship first. That sounds more doable, but I'm still nervous. What if she rejects me? 
then you move on knowing you gave it a shot. Rejection is a part of life. Everyone faces it at some point. You're making it sound very easy, but it is not. Rejection hurts. Yes, it does. But remember, it can also help you grow. Fear is normal, but don't let it keep you from exploring something that could potentially make you very happy. I'll need some time to process all this. I don't want to jump into anything impulsively. Absolutely. Take your time. Reflect on what you truly want. And remember, it's okay to take risks sometimes. That's how we grow and learn. I appreciate your advice. You're a good friend. Of course. I'm here for you. Just remember, whatever decision you make, it should be one that brings you peace and happiness. Yes, that's very true. Thanks for being such a supportive friend. Hey, Tom. Are you hungry? Do you want to go eat lunch with me? Hey, Sarah. Yes, I am hungry. I would love to go eat with you. Where do you want to go? I'm actually not sure. Do you have any idea? I don't know either. Maybe we could get some pizza? Well, I had pizza yesterday. Maybe we can eat something else? Okay. What about burgers then? I don't really feel like having a burger today. It feels too heavy. Okay, no burgers then. What about Chinese food? I don't really feel like Chinese food today either. How about Italian? Italian? I had pasta last night. I don't want Italian today. This is hard. What about Japanese? I could go for some sushi. I don't really like raw fish. And I'm not really in the mood for Japanese either. Sorry. Ah, oh, this is tough. We are so picky today. What else can we think of? I know, right? What about Mexican food? We haven't had that for a while. Mexican food actually sounds great. We can have tacos and nachos. That sounds good to me. We can also have some churros for dessert. Yes, that's a great idea. I love churros. It's been a long time since we had Mexican food. I'm excited. Me too. Mexican food is really good. I'm glad we finally agreed on something. Yes, it took a while, but we made it. I'm glad we are going for Mexican. Me too. It's going to be delicious. We should do this more often. Yes, it's a fun little adventure. Let's meet in an hour. Yes, that's perfect. I'll see you then. Great. See you at the Mexican place. Don't be too late, Tom. I won't. I'm too excited about the food to be late. Hey, honey. What do you think about spending tonight at home just relaxing? That sounds great, love. I'm a bit tired. What do you suggest we do? How about we watch a movie on the couch? I can pop some popcorn and we can grab some of those chocolate chip cookies that you love. Oh, I like that idea. Yes, let's do that. What movie should we watch? I'm not sure. What kind of movie are you in the mood for? I'm not sure either. I could go for a comedy or maybe a drama. But I'd also be okay with an action film. What about you? I was thinking about an action movie or maybe a science fiction. I've also been wanting to catch up on some documentaries. A documentary? That could be interesting. Which one were you thinking about? I heard about this ocean documentary that recently came out. I think it talks about sea life and how it's affected by global warming. That sounds a bit serious. I was thinking of something more lighthearted. That's fair. Let's look for a comedy then. Actually, let's go back to the documentary. I know you've been interested in these things. Plus, it's good to learn something new. Are you sure, dear? I don't want to pick something you might not enjoy. I think I will enjoy it, though. It's important to know about our world, even if it's serious. Besides, we're watching it together. That's the most important part. I love your attitude. You're always willing to try new things. I truly appreciate that about you. And I appreciate your consideration. Okay, the plans are settled then. Yes, sounds perfect. We'll learn something new and spend quality time together. I can't wait. It'll be nice to have a nice quiet evening at home together. I agree.
This sounds like a wonderful plan. Let's make it a date then. You, me, the couch, popcorn, cookies, and a deep dive into the ocean. It's a date, my love. I'm looking forward to tonight. Hey, boss. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. What's going on? I'm not feeling very well. I think I might be sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What's wrong? I'm not sure. I just feel very tired and I have a headache. Did you eat anything this morning? Yes, I had breakfast. But I still don't feel well. Well, unfortunately, we are very busy today. Are you sure you can't stay? I understand we're busy, but I don't think I can work like this. I see. Well, I don't want you to get worse. It's important to take care of your health. Yes, I agree. Health is important. It sure is. But I need to know how long you might be away. Do you think you will feel better tomorrow? I'm not sure, boss. I hope so. We all hope so. We need you here, you know. I know, and I'm sorry. I don't like to be sick. No one does. Do you think you can finish some of your work from home? Maybe a little. If I feel better later. That would be good. But don't push yourself too hard. I just need some rest, I think. That sounds like a good plan. Okay, I think you should go home and get some rest. Thank you, boss. I'll try and come back as soon as I can. I hope you feel better soon. And remember to let me know if you can't come in tomorrow. I will, boss. Thank you for understanding. Of course. It's important that you get better. We can handle things here. I'm glad to hear that. I'll let you know how I'm feeling tomorrow. Hey, big bro. Can I ask a favor? Hey, sis. What's up? I was wondering, do you think I could borrow your car tonight? I need to go to my friend's house. Tonight might be a problem, sis. I actually need the car, too. Some friends and I plan to go out. Oh, boy. This is a pickle. Is there any way you could change your plan? Let's see. We've been planning this meetup for a few days now. It might be difficult to rearrange things. I understand that. My problem is that my friend's house is a bit far, and the bus ride takes too long. Plus, I'm not too comfortable going alone at night. I see your point. It's not the safest to travel alone so late. But it's also not easy for me to cancel on my friends at the last minute. Hmm. Do any of your friends have a car? Maybe you could carpool with them? Some of them do have cars, but we plan to go together. And it's not as simple as just changing cars. I realize it's not the easiest thing to do, but I'm at a bit of a loss. I gave my friend my word that I'd go over to her place tonight. Yes, I get that. You're in a tough spot. Let me text one of my friends and see if they wouldn't mind picking me up. That would be great. I appreciate you trying to help me out here. Okay, one of my friends agreed to pick me up. He doesn't live too far from here. Oh, that's wonderful news. I'm so relieved. Thank you so much. You're welcome. But please, next time, let's try and coordinate our schedules better so we don't have such conflict. Yes, I completely agree. I should have asked you about the car earlier. I'll definitely keep that in mind for next time. Good. And remember to drive safe, sis. Don't speed and definitely don't text while you're driving. I promise I'll be very careful. And thank you again for helping me out here. It's no problem. Also, don't stay out too late. Make sure you're back home at a reasonable hour. I'll make sure of that. I'll be back early. I'm glad to hear that. Have a good time at your friend's house. Thank you. I hope you have a fun time with your friends as well. Hey, Lisa. How have you been? I haven't seen you for a while. Hey, John. You're right. It's been a long time. I'm doing well. How about you? Yes, it has been a long time. I'm good, too. I started a new job. I work at a bank now. That's great, John. Do you like your new job? Yes, I do. The people are nice and the work is interesting. But it's also hard. There's a lot to learn. I'm sure you can do it, John. You're always good at learning new things. Thank you, Lisa. I'm trying my best. 
What about you? What have you been doing? I have been busy too. I started going to a cooking class. That's exciting. Do you enjoy cooking? I do. I always liked cooking, but now I'm learning how to do it better. It's fun and I get to eat tasty food. That sounds fun. I wish I could cook well. Maybe you can teach me one day. I would love to do that, John. We can make a tasty meal together. That sounds like a good idea. We should plan that. Yes, we should. Apart from the new job, what else have you been doing, John? Well, I started going to the gym. I want to get fit. That's a good idea, John. Exercise is good for the body and the mind. Yes, it is. I feel better when I exercise. I have more energy. That's great, John. I'm glad you're taking care of yourself. Thank you, Lisa. It's good to see you again. I'm happy we could catch up. Me too. Let's not wait so long to see each other again. I agree. Let's meet up again soon, Lisa. Yes, we should. It was good to see you, John. Hello, Lucy. I need to talk to you about our dinner plans that we made for this weekend. Sure. What's up, Peter? I'm sorry, but I have some work to do this weekend. It's very important. I need to change our plans. Oh, that's okay, Peter. Work is important. When do you want to have dinner? Can we have dinner next weekend instead? I'm very sorry about this. Sure, Peter. That's fine. I understand. Work comes first sometimes. Thank you, Lucy. I feel bad about this. I was looking forward to our dinner. It's okay, Peter. We can always have dinner another time. Don't worry about it. Thank you, Lucy. I appreciate your understanding. I'll make it up to you. It's not a problem, Peter. I'm glad you told me now. I hope your work goes well. Thank you, Lucy. I hope so, too. It's a big project. I need to finish it. I see. That sounds tough. But I know you can do it. You are good at your job. Thanks. Your words make me feel better. I'll do my best. I'm sure you will, Peter. And after your project is done, we can have a great dinner next weekend. Yes, that sounds nice. I'm looking forward to it. It will be a nice break after all the work. Yes, it will be. And it's okay to change plans. We all have work and other things to do. Good morning, Jane. It is getting a lot warmer, isn't it? Yes, it really is, Mike. It feels like spring is here, and I'm so happy about that. Me too. I like when it's warm. The cold makes it hard for me to get out of bed in the morning. I understand. I feel the same. Warm weather just makes me happier. Yes, I agree. Do you have any plans for the warmer weather? Yes, I do. I like to go on long walks when it's warm. I also want to start a little garden at home. That sounds like a nice plan, Jane. Gardening can be a lot of fun. And you can grow your own food. Yes, that's true. I'm thinking of growing tomatoes and cucumbers. That's great, Jane. Fresh food from your own garden will taste good. Yes, it will. What about you, Mike? What do you plan to do? Well, I like to play soccer. The warmer weather is good for playing outside. So, I'm looking forward to that. That sounds fun, Mike. Exercise is good for you. Yes, it is. And I love playing soccer. It's a fun way to exercise. It sure is. Do you play with friends? Yes, we have a small team. We play every weekend when the weather is good. That's nice, Mike. I hope the weather stays warm for your games. Thank you, Jane. I hope so, too. And I hope you enjoy your walks and gardening. Thanks, Mike. I'm sure I will. It's nice to talk about things other than work, isn't it? Yes, it is. Let's enjoy the warm weather, Jane. Yes, let's do that, Mike. Hey, Jenny. Did you hear about our friend Tom? Yes, I did, Brian. He and his wife are having a baby, aren't they? Yes, that's right. It's such great news. I know. It's wonderful news. I'm very happy for Tom. Me too. Tom will be a good father, I think. I think so, too. 
Tom is a very kind and caring person. He will take good care of his baby. Yes, he will. And Tom likes children, too. He always loves to play with kids. Yes, I agree. Tom is very good with kids. I'm sure he will be a great dad. I hope so. But being a parent is not easy. It's a big change in life. Yes, it is. But I think Tom is ready for this change. He has always wanted to have a family. Yes, that's true. And now his dream is coming true. It's a happy time for him. Yes, it is. And for us, too. It will be nice to meet the baby. It sure will be. Do you know when the baby is due? I think the baby is due in six months. That's not too far away. I can't wait to meet the baby. Me neither. It will be a special time for all of us. Yes, it will be. Let's make sure we support Tom during this time. He will need our help. Yes, we should do that. We are his friends. We should be there for him. Definitely. And we will also be there to celebrate with him. Yes, we will. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure it will be a happy day for all of us. It sure will be, Jenny. It's a new beginning for Tom. I agree, Brian. I'm very happy for him. Hello, Jessica. You know how you helped me study for my exam last week? Yes, I remember, Bob. How did you go with that exam? Well, I ended up getting a very good grade. That's great news. I'm happy to hear that. How well did you do? I got an A on the exam. I didn't think I could do it, but your help made a big difference. That's fantastic, Bob. I knew you could do it. We worked hard together. Yes, we did. I had trouble understanding some parts of the subject, but you explained it in a way that was easy to understand. I'm glad I could help, Bob. It's important to understand the basics first. Then everything else becomes easier. That's true. When I first looked at the subject, it seemed very hard. But when you explained it to me, it started to make sense. Yeah, sometimes we just need someone to show us a different way to understand something. You're right, Jessica. I was very worried about this exam, but your help gave me confidence. Confidence is very important. If you believe you can do it, you can achieve it. I agree. And your help made me believe I could do well on the exam. I'm happy to hear that. Helping each other is what friends do. Yes, it is. And I want you to know that I appreciate your help very much, Jessica. I'm glad I could help, Bob. And I'm very happy you did well on your exam. Now it is time to start focusing on the next exam. Well, if you need help studying again, I'm always happy to help. That's very nice of you to offer your time again. You're a good friend, Jessica. And you're a good friend too, Bob. I'm glad we could help each other. Yes, me too. Thank you again. You're welcome, Bob. I'm always here to help. Hey, Samantha, I need to talk to you about last week. I feel very bad. What do you want to talk about, Jeremy? Do you remember our lunch plan last week? We wanted to eat at that new pizza place. Yes, I do. I was there, but you didn't come. I was waiting for you. Yes, I know. I am very sorry about that. I really forgot. I was very busy with work, and it slipped out of my mind. It was a bit embarrassing for me. I waited for you. I didn't like to be alone. I know. I understand. I made a mistake. I should have remembered. Yes, you should have. You didn't even call me to tell me that you weren't coming. I know. I'm very sorry. I was wrong. I did not mean to make you feel bad. I understand. We all make mistakes. But next time, please remember. Or at least call me if you can't come. Yes, you are right. I promise I will remember next time. I will also call you if I can't make it. Good. That's what friends do. We must respect each other's time. Yes, I understand. 
I promise I will be better. Do you forgive me, Samantha? Yes, of course I forgive you. We are friends. Friends forgive each other. Thank you, Samantha. I feel much better now. I was feeling very bad about this. It's okay. Just remember next time. I appreciate your understanding. You're welcome. Now let's just forget about it and move on. Yes, I agree. Let's move on from this. Maybe we should plan for another lunch next week, okay? Yes. That sounds great, Samantha. And I promise I will be there this time. Good. I look forward to it. Yes. Me too. Let's go to the Italian restaurant. Yes. Great idea. I'm looking forward to it. Great. Thank you, Samantha. See you next week. See you later. Have a good day. Hey, Greg. I wanted to ask you something. So there's a party this weekend at my friend's house. I was wondering if you would like to come. A party? I don't know, Sally. I'm usually shy around many people. That's fine. Lots of people are shy at parties, but, you know, parties can be a good way to meet new people. Yes, that's true. But it's not easy for me. I feel nervous in big groups. I get that. But remember, everyone is there to have a good time. No one is there to judge you. Yes, you're right. But I don't know your other friends. I may feel out of place. It's okay, Greg. I'll be there with you. And my other friends are very nice. They would love to meet you. Are you sure? I don't want to be a problem. You're not a problem. I invited you because I want you to be there. And I think you'll have a good time. Well, if you think so. I will think about it, Sally. That's all I ask. Give it a thought. Parties can be fun. And maybe you will even make some new friends. Maybe you're right. I will think about it and let you know. Good. There's no rush. Let me know when you decide. Sure thing, Sally. I will. And thanks for inviting me. My pleasure. You're my friend. I want you to have fun, too. I appreciate that. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Talk to you soon, Greg. See you later, Sally. Hey, Greg. How are you? Hey, Sally. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. I wanted to ask you about the party on the weekend. Did you have a good time? Yes. I did have a great time, actually. It was very fun. I'm happy to hear that. I'm glad you decided to come. What did you like about the party? Well, I liked the music. And the food is very good, too. Everyone was very friendly. Yes, I think the food was good, too. Did you dance at the party? No, I didn't dance. Like I said, I'm a bit shy. So I don't like to dance when there are a lot of people. That's okay. Everyone is different. Not everyone likes to dance. Yes, that's true. But I watched others dance. They were having fun. Yes, dancing can be fun. So what else did you do at the party? I talked to some people. They were very nice. I had a good time talking to them. That's great. Talking to people can be fun, too. Yes, it can be. It's a good way to make new friends. I agree. Did you make any new friends at the party? Yes, I think so. I talked to some people that I didn't know before. That's great, Greg. I'm glad you had a good time. Yes, I did. Thank you for inviting me to the party, Sally. You're welcome. I am happy you came. I think everyone had a good time. Yes, it looked like it. Everyone was smiling and laughing. Yes, they were. That's what a good party is all about. Maybe we should go to another party soon. Yes, let's definitely do that. Maybe another week. Okay, I have to go now. Talk to you later, Sally. 
See you later. Hey, Steve. I heard the great news. You're a father now. Yes, it's true. I have a little boy. He was born a few days ago. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you, Lisa. It feels good to be a dad. I'm sure it does. So, how is your little boy doing? He is good. Thanks. But I'm a little nervous. Why are you nervous? Well, this is my first child. I have never taken care of a baby before. That's understandable, Steve. It's normal to feel that way. I hope I can be a good dad. I'm sure you will be. You're a good person, and good people make good parents. Thank you, Lisa. I hope you're right. But it's also okay to feel a bit scared. It's a big change. Yes, it is. But it's also very exciting. Of course. It's a new chapter in your life. It's going to be an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. But I also know it's going to be hard. It will be at times. But remember, it's okay to ask for help. I will remember that. Thank you. And if you ever need anything, just let me know. I'll be there to help you. I appreciate that, Lisa. Thank you for being such a good friend. No problem, Steve. And also, how is your wife feeling? She is happy, but she is a bit tired. It's been a big week for her. Definitely. Well, send my love to her and your little boy. I will, Lisa. Thanks for your kind words. I'll talk to you soon. Hello, boss. Do you have a minute to speak to me? Sure. What's on your mind? I've been thinking a lot about my work here. I've been working here for over a year now. Yes, you've been very loyal to us, and you've done some great work. I appreciate you saying that. I do try my best, but I feel I have done more than what's expected of me. Can you tell me more about what you mean? Sure. I think I've taken on a lot of extra tasks. I worked on the big project last month and worked late many days to meet the deadline. Yes, I remember that. You did work hard. And I think my work has been good. The project was a success. That's true. The client was very happy. I'm glad to hear that. So, I was wondering... I feel like my pay should reflect the extra work I'm doing. I see. So you want a raise? Yes. I think it would be fair. I understand where you're coming from. You have worked hard, but we have to think about the company's budget too. I understand that, boss. But I also think it's important to keep good employees. And paying them fairly is part of that. Yes, that's a good point. We don't want to lose good employees like you. I'm glad you understand. I enjoy working here, but I also have to think about my own needs. I understand. Let me think about this. I have to talk to the finance team, too. But I promise you I'll seriously consider your request. Thank you, boss. I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Of course. It's important to me that our team is happy. Let's talk again next week about this. Sounds good. I look forward to it. No problem. Thanks for coming to me with your concerns. We'll figure something out. Hey, brother. How are you? Hey, sis. I'm good. How about you? I'm fine. Thanks. I wanted to talk to you because Mom's birthday is soon, and I was wondering what present we should get for her. Yes, you're right. That's a good question. What do you think she would like? I think she would like a new dress. What do you think? A new dress sounds good. Maybe something in blue. She likes blue. Yes, that's true. She does like blue. We could also get her a nice necklace. That's a good idea. A necklace would look nice with the dress. Yes, I think so too. What about a book? She loves to read. 
That's another good idea. She does enjoy reading. Maybe a new mystery book. She likes mystery books. Yes, she does. So we have a dress, a necklace, and a book. That sounds like a good gift. I agree. That sounds like something she would like. So who will go get the gifts? Well, I can go get the dress and the necklace. Can you get the book? Sure, I can do that. I will find a good mystery book for her. Thank you, brother. Let's also get a big birthday card. We can both write in it. That's a good idea. We can write her a nice message. Yes, I think she will like that. So let's do this. Let's meet again before her birthday to wrap the gifts. Sounds like a plan. I'm sure she will love her gifts. I hope so. Thank you for helping, brother. No problem, sis. I want mom to have a special birthday. Yes, you're right. Let's make her birthday the best. Let's do it, sis. I will see you soon. See you soon, brother. Take care. Hey, George. You look strong. How often do you go to the gym? Thanks for the compliment. I actually go three or four times in a week. Wow, that's a lot. What time do you go? I go in the morning before work. It makes me feel good for the day. That sounds good. I want to do that too, but I can't wake up early. It was hard for me at first too, but you get used to it. Now I like it. That's good. How long do you stay in the gym each time? About one hour. I do running on the treadmill, and I also lift weights. One hour is long. How do you do it? It's about making it normal. I listen to music or watch something on my phone. Time goes fast that way. Good idea. I should try that. Personally, I only go one or two times a week. That's okay. It's better than not going. Yes, but I want to go more. It's hard to find time. I understand. But when it's important, you find the time. You're right. I need to make it important. Definitely. It's for your health. Good advice. I will remember. Maybe I can start going three times a week. Good plan. And if you need help, just ask me. Thanks. I will. No problem. Good luck with it. Thanks. I'm excited about it. I think Mexican food is the best food. I actually don't agree with you. I like Italian food more. Why do you like Italian food more? I think Italian food tastes good. I like pasta and pizza. Yes, pizza and pasta are good. But Mexican food has tacos and nachos. They are very tasty too. But Italian food has a lot of tomatoes and cheese. It tastes good. That's true. But Mexican food has more spice. Yes, it is spicy. But sometimes it is too spicy for me. Italian food is not too spicy. I like spicy food. It is fun. And not all Mexican food is spicy. That's true. But I like that Italian food is simple. You can taste all the things in it. But I think Mexican food has more flavor than Italian food. Yes, Mexican food has many flavors. But I personally still like Italian food more. I love the cheese and bread. But Mexican food has good corn, beans, and rice. And it has good drinks like tequila. Yes, both Mexican and Italian food are good. They taste different, but both are good. I agree with you. Both are good. Yes, both are good. We both like different things, but we can agree that both are good. Hello, Jimmy. How are you? 
Hey, Sam. I am good. How about you? I am good, too. Can I ask you a question? Yes, of course. What do you want to know? I want to know, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal? That's a fun question. I think my favorite animal is the elephant. Elephant? That's interesting. Why do you like elephants? I like elephants because they are big and strong, but they are also very kind. They live together in groups and take care of each other. They are very smart, too. That's true. Elephants are amazing animals. They are really big, but they are gentle. Yes, they are. What about you, Jimmy? What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the dog. Dogs? Why do you like dogs? I like dogs because they are very loyal and friendly. They are always happy to see you. They make good companions. Yes, dogs are great. They are very loving. They always want to be with you. Yes, they are. I have a dog at home. His name is Max. That's nice. What kind of dog is Max? Max is a golden retriever. He is very playful and friendly. He always wants to play fetch. That sounds fun. Golden retrievers are really cute. Yes, they are. Max is a part of our family. We all love him. That's really nice. Animals can bring so much joy into our lives. Yes, they do. They make our lives better. I agree. They are part of our world. We should take care of them. Hey, Tim. How are you? I'm good, Bob. How about you? I'm doing okay. But I need your help. Can I ask you for a favor? Of course, Bob. What do you need help with? Well, you know I'm moving to the new house this weekend, right? Yes, I remember you mentioning that. Are you excited? Yes, I am. But it's also a bit stressful. There's so much to move. Yes, I can imagine. It must be tough to pack everything and then move it. Exactly. That's where I need your help. Can you give me a hand with moving my stuff? Sure. I'd be happy to help you. When do you need me? That's so kind of you. I'm planning to start moving on Saturday. Would you be free then? Saturday works for me. What time do you want to start? How about we start in the morning? Say, around 10 o'clock. That sounds good. Do you have a van or a truck to move the big items? Yes, I'm renting a van. It's quite big, so we should be able to move most things in one trip. That sounds like a plan. Is there anything I should bring? Like a dolly or some moving blankets? That would be great. I have some, but extra would definitely be helpful. Okay, I'll bring what I have. And don't worry, we'll get it all done. I really appreciate your help. To say thank you, I'll get us some pizza for dinner when we're done. How does that sound? I love pizza. It's a deal. Great. Thanks again for your help, my friend. I'll see you on Saturday. No problem, Bob. Happy to help. Hey, Sally. How's your day been so far? Not bad. Just another regular day. How about you, Larry? My day's been pretty good. I was thinking about something earlier and wanted to tell you. Oh, really? What's that? Well, I was thinking of going bowling this weekend. I thought it could be a nice change. Would you be interested in coming along? That's a fun idea. I haven't gone bowling in years. Neither have I. But that's part of the reason why I thought it would be fun. It's been so long. It'll be like a new experience again. That does sound fun, but I'm a bit rusty. I'm not very good at bowling. That's not a problem at all. It's not about being the best or winning. 
It's about having a good time, trying something different. You're right. I guess I do forget just to have fun sometimes. Yes. It's easy to forget that sometimes the point is to just enjoy the experience. Plus, we can get some snacks, maybe a drink, and make a full afternoon out of it. That does sound like fun. All right, you've convinced me. What time do you think we should go? How about we meet around three in the afternoon? That should give us plenty of time to play a few games. Sounds good to me. So where is this bowling alley? It's the one near the city center, next to the old theater. Have you been there before? Yes, I know the one you're talking about. I've never been there, actually. Great. We can catch up, have some fun. Who knows? Maybe you'll rediscover a hidden talent for bowling. That would be quite a surprise. But I'm looking forward to it. Me too. It's a date then. And remember, it's just about having a good time. Yes, I'll remember. See you on the weekend. Can't wait. Take care and see you then. Hey, Freddie. I'm planning to go on a vacation this summer. Do you have any good places to suggest? That's great. Well, what kind of place are you thinking about? Are you looking for a city, a beach, or maybe some mountains? I'm not sure. Maybe a beach. I think I want to relax and swim. If you like beaches, you should think about Thailand. There are many beautiful islands. The sea is blue and the food is good. Thailand sounds fun, but I also like to see new things. Maybe a city would be nice. If you want a city and a beach, what about Barcelona in Spain? There are many things to see and do, and there is a big beach in this city. Barcelona. Yes, I heard it's nice, but I also like to hike. Are there any good hikes there? Yes, there are mountains near Barcelona. You can hike and see the city from above. It's very beautiful. That sounds good. I will think about Barcelona. But I also like to eat good food on my vacation. Do you know any places with good food? If you love food, you should think about Italy. They have amazing food. You can eat pizza pasta, and great ice cream, and Italy has beaches and cities too. You're right. I love Italian food. But isn't Italy very expensive? Some places in Italy can be expensive. But there are also cheaper places too. You just need to plan your trip well. That's true. I will do some research on Italy and Barcelona. I'm sure both places are fun. Yes, both are great choices. No matter where you go, the important thing is to enjoy your time and make good memories. You're right. I'm already excited. Thanks for your suggestions. You're welcome. Let me know where you decide to go. I'm sure you'll have a great time. I will. I can't wait for this vacation. Thanks again for your help. Anytime. I'm looking forward to hearing about your trip. Hey, Jenny. How are you today? Do you feel better than you did last week? Hi, Claire. Thanks for asking. I feel a little better. I was really sick last week. Yes, I know. You missed a lot last week. So what was wrong? I had a really bad flu. I was in bed all week. That sounds terrible. What did the doctor say? The doctor said I needed rest and lots of water. He also gave me some medicine. I see. Are you still taking the medicine? No. I finished the medicine two days ago. That's good. Are you eating well? Yes, I am. But I don't have a lot of appetite yet. You need good food to get your strength back. How about I cook some soup for you? That sounds nice. Thank you. But I don't want you to go to any trouble. It's no trouble at all. I like cooking, and it's a good way to help you feel better. 
Okay, then, if you're sure, it's no trouble. Do you need anything else? Like more medicine or something? No, I'm okay for now. Just need to take it easy. Yes, you do. Rest is important. And don't worry about missing anything. We all want you to get better. Thanks. I'm lucky to have a friend like you. And I'm lucky to have you as a friend. I'll bring the soup later today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I'm John. Nice to meet you, John. I'm Lucy. Nice to meet you, Lucy. Are you enjoying this party? Yes, it's great. It was nice of Daniel to throw this party. So how do you know Daniel? I've known him since we were kids. How do you know him? Oh, wow. I actually work with him. We're in the same office. Oh, that's nice. Yes, me and Daniel went to the same school, so I've known him a long time. That's great. Friends from childhood are very special. Yes, they are. So have you tried any of the food at this party yet? It's so good. Yes, the food is very good. I like the chicken. It's very tasty. I like the chicken, too. It's cooked very well. Do you live near here, John? Yes, I live just a few streets away. It's easy for me to come here. And you? I live a bit far. I need to take a bus to come here, but it's okay. I like this place. That's good. I have a question for you. Do you like reading books? I do like books, but I don't read very often. I do watch lots of movies, though. Movies are very fun. Yes, they are. I like action movies. What kind of movies do you like? I like romance movies. They are very sweet. That's nice. I think everyone likes different things. Yes, you're right. That's what makes us different. Yes, it is. And that's a good thing. Yes, it is. It was nice to meet you, John. It was nice to meet you too, Lucy. Enjoy the party. Hey, you know I'm going fishing this weekend, right? Yes, you told me about it. It sounds like a lot of fun. It will be. You should come along. We can fish, cook some food, and relax. I would love to, but I have a lot of work to do this weekend. Come on, you can take a break. Work can wait. This trip will be fun. We haven't done something like this in a long time. I know, but I really can't. My work is important. I need to finish it. But you also need a break, my friend. Work is important, yes. But so is having fun and relaxing. I understand that. But I really can't come this time. Are you sure? It won't be the same without you. We always have a lot of fun when we go fishing together. I know we do. And I'm sorry I can't come this time. But I really need to do my work. Can't you do your work another time? This trip's only for one day. No, I really can't. I have deadlines. I need to finish my work on time. Okay, I understand. But remember, you need to take breaks too. You can't just work all the time. I know that. And I will take a break. Just not this weekend. I promise we'll go fishing another time. Okay, I hope so. Well, I'll miss you on the trip. And I'll miss being there. But I need to do this. I'm sorry. No need to say sorry. I understand. Work is definitely important. But remember to have fun, too. I will. Thank you for understanding, man. Hello there. I've not seen your face before. Is this your first day here? Hey there. Yes, it is my first day here. My name is Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Nice to meet you. How is your first day going? Nice to meet you, too. My first day has been good so far, but to be honest, I'm feeling a bit lost. There are just so many new things to learn. I can imagine, Lisa. Starting a new job can be a little overwhelming. But don't worry. You will get the hang of it soon. Everyone here is very friendly and helpful. That's good to hear, Tom. I am looking forward to learning more about the work we do here. I've always been interested in marketing. That's great, Lisa. If you're interested in marketing, then you are at the right place. We have a great team here. I'm excited to be a part of this team, Tom, but I'm also a bit nervous. 
I hope I can contribute and make a positive impact. That's a good attitude, Lisa. Having a positive mindset is important. And remember, everyone makes mistakes in the beginning. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thanks, Tom. That's very encouraging to hear. I'm sure I'll make my fair share of mistakes, but I'll try to learn from them. That's the spirit, Lisa. And remember, if you ever have any questions or need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always here to help. Thank you, Tom. I really appreciate your kindness. I look forward to working with you and learning from you. Likewise, Lisa. We're all happy to have you here. We believe that with your skills and enthusiasm, you'll fit right in. Thanks for your kind words, Tom. I can't wait to start working on my first project. You're welcome, Lisa. And remember, take it one step at a time. Welcome aboard. Hey, Dad. I think I want to quit my job at the pizza shop. It's just too hard. Why do you think it's too hard? It's tiring, Dad. I have to stand for hours, make pizzas, clean tables, and deal with customers. I come home very tired and don't have time for myself. I see, son. It sounds tough, but that's often what work is like. Jobs can be hard and tiring. But why should it be so hard, Dad? It is just a part-time job. Well, son, even part-time jobs require effort and commitment. Remember, the job is giving you money for your time and hard work. I understand that, Dad. But I feel like I'm just too tired all the time. Son, work can often be hard. But it's also important. It gives us money to live our lives. And it also teaches us important life lessons. What kind of lessons? Well, work teaches us about responsibility, about commitment. It teaches us to value time and money. It also helps us to grow, to become stronger and more patient. But, Dad, it's just so hard. I don't know if I can do it. Son, remember, life is not always easy. It has hard parts, too. The important thing is how we handle those hard parts. What do you mean by that, Dad? I mean that when life is hard, we don't quit. We keep going. We learn from the hard times and grow. That's how we become strong. So, you're saying I should keep my job? I'm saying you should give it more time, son. Try to learn from it. See what it teaches you about work, about life. It might be hard. But remember... Hard times make strong people. I'll think about it, Dad. Thanks for talking to me. Good morning, son. I am going to the supermarket today. Is there something you want me to buy? Hi, Mom. Yes, I want some apples and oranges. And can you get some bread? Sure. I will get apples, oranges, and bread. Do you want anything else? Can you also buy some milk and eggs? Milk and eggs? Okay, sure. Anything else? And some cheese, please. Okay, I will get cheese. Anything else? Can you also get some ice cream? Son, you have been eating a lot of ice cream recently. It's not good to eat too much sweet food. I think it's better to not have ice cream this week. But, Mom, I love ice cream. I know you do, son. But too much sugar is not good for your health. You should eat it less. Okay, Mom. I understand. Then can I have some cookies? Yes. I guess that is a little bit better. I will get some cookies. But remember, don't eat too many at one time. Okay, Mom. Thank you for getting the cookies. You're welcome. Is there anything else you want? No, Mom. That's all. Thank you. Okay. I will go to the supermarket now. Okay, Mom. Be safe. Thank you, son. I will be back soon. Hi, Maria. How are you? Hi, Alex. I am good. Thank you. How are you? I am good. Thank you. Are you excited for the holiday break? Yes, very much. I am looking forward to it. Are you? Yes, I am definitely looking forward to it. Do you have any special plans for the break? Actually, I do. I want to learn to play the piano. 
Wow, that sounds fun. Have you played before? No, I haven't. But I have always wanted to learn. That's great. I like the sound of the piano. It is very nice. Yes, I agree. It's very soft and sweet. Will you get a teacher or will you learn by yourself? I will try to learn by myself first. I found a good website to learn. That's a good idea. But remember, practice is very important. Yes, I know. I will practice every day. Good. Practice makes perfect. You will play well soon. Thank you, Alex. I hope so. What about you? Do you play any instrument? No, I don't. But I like to listen to music. I love music. Music is very nice. It can make us happy. Yes, it can. I think learning the piano will make you very happy. I think so, too. I am excited to start. I am happy for you, Maria. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Alex. I will. I can't wait to start. I can't wait to hear you play. I am sure you will do great. I hope so, Alex. Thank you for your support. You're welcome, Maria. Good luck with the piano lessons. Hi, Mike. I wanted to ask you a favor. Sure, John. What did you want to ask me? So, I know you work in web design. Are you good at building websites? Yes, I do build websites. That's what I do in my job. That's great, Mike. I have a new business. I own a burger store, but I don't have a website. Do you think you can help me build one? Of course, John. I would be happy to help you. I can build a website for your burger store. That's very good news, Mike. I was worried about finding someone to build my website. I will pay you for this. John, you don't have to pay me. We are good friends. I am happy to help you for free. Are you sure, Mike? It is a big job. I'm sure, John. It's okay. I like building websites, and it will be fun to build one for your burger store. Thank you so much, Mike. I really appreciate your help. You're welcome, John. We can start whenever you want. How about next week? Does that work for you? Next week is good for me. We can talk more then about what you want on your website. That sounds good, Mike. I have a few ideas. I will write them down. Good idea, John. Write down your ideas and we can talk about them next week. I will do that, Mike. Thanks again for your help. Hey, Tom, I need to ask you for a big favor. Oh, really? What is it, Susie? So, you know how I'm going on holiday next month, right? Yes, I remember. You're going to Italy. I'm very happy for you. Yes, I am. But there is a problem. I can't take my dog with me. Oh, that's tough. What will you do? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I was wondering if you could help. Could you look after Toby for me while I'm gone? You're right. That is a big favor. I have never looked after a dog for a month. I know. It's a big favor to ask. But Toby is a good dog. He is very friendly and he likes people. I know Toby is a good dog. I just need to think about it. Of course, take your time. Toby's food and toys would be ready, and I would also pay for any costs. It's not about the money. It is about the time and commitment. I understand. Toby needs to go for a walk twice a day. But he is also okay at home. He likes to play, but he also likes to rest. I need to think about it, but I can see you really need help, and I like Toby. I do need help, and I really trust you. I would feel better knowing Toby is with a friend. Okay, let me think about it tonight. I will give you my answer tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate your help. Hey, Susie, I've thought about what you said yesterday. I can look after Toby for the month while you're away. Really? That's great news. I am so thankful. 
It is okay. Toby is a good dog. I think we'll have a good time together. I'm sure you will. Toby will be so happy with you. Now I am happy to give you money for the month. We talked about that. You don't need to pay me. I'm doing this to help a friend. I know, and I appreciate it. But it's not right. You're giving your time, and I want to make sure you're repaid. It's only fair. Well, I'm not sure. I did not agree to help because of money. I know you didn't, but this is important to me. It will make me feel better. Please, let me do this. All right, if it will make you feel better. But don't think you're buying my help. This is what friends do for each other. Thank you, and I know. You're a good friend. Let's talk about how much I should pay. I'm not sure about that. You can decide on that. I trust you to be fair. Okay, I will think about it. And thank you again. You're saving me. It's okay. Let's have fun with this. I think Toby and I will have a good time. I'm sure you will. He's a good dog. Thanks, Tom. You're welcome, Susie. I'm excited to see Toby. Hi, Dad. Can we talk about something? Of course, son. What's on your mind? I have a date with a girl. It is my first time going on a date. I'm nervous. That's normal, son. Everyone feels nervous on their first date. We're going to the movies. What should I do? Just be kind to her, son. Open the door for her. Make sure she's comfortable. Should I buy popcorn and drinks? Yes, it's nice to share snacks. But ask her what she likes first. That's a good idea. I'm worried about conversation. What should we talk about? Ask about her interests. Share about yourself, but listen more. That sounds fair. But what if there's awkward moments of silence? Silence is normal. You don't have to fill every moment with talk. And what if I'm nervous and I can't speak well? Just be yourself, son. She agreed to go on a date with you because she likes you. But what if I make a mistake? Everyone makes mistakes, son. It is how we handle them that matters. Okay, I understand that. Should I compliment her? Yes, but be genuine. Compliment her on something you really admire. Okay, sure. And should I hold her hand during the movie? Follow her lead. If she seems comfortable, then it's okay to hold her hand. If not, then wait. Okay, Dad. Thanks for the advice. I feel less nervous. That's good, son. Remember, it's about having a good time. Be yourself. Yes, Dad. I will remember that. Thank you for helping me. You're welcome, son. I'm always here if you need to talk. Hey, George. I need your advice. I feel confused about something. Of course, my friend. I am happy to help. What is your problem? You know how I am studying medicine, right? I've been studying for three years now, but I'm not sure I want to be a doctor anymore. Oh, really? That sounds tough. What's making you feel this way? It's hard. The work is a lot, and I'm not sure I like it anymore. That's okay. It's normal to feel this way. Many people feel this way about their jobs or studies. But you need to think. Why did you want to be a doctor in the first place? I wanted to help people. I wanted to make them feel better. But now I feel tired and I don't feel happy. It's okay to feel tired. Studying medicine is hard. But do you not want to help people anymore? I do want to help. But I don't know if I want to be a doctor to do it. That's okay, too. There are many ways to help people. You don't have to be a doctor to do it. But I've already studied for three years. If I stop now, all that time will be wasted. That time is not wasted. You learned a lot. You can use that knowledge in many ways. You can work in healthcare or in research or in many other jobs. You're right. I guess there are still many things I can do. Yes, there are. And remember, it's your life. You should do what makes you happy. It's okay to change your mind. It's okay to try new things. I'm still scared about changing career paths, though. 
That's normal too. Change is scary, but it is also exciting. You can find new things that make you happy. Thank you. Your words help me feel better. I'm glad. I'm always happy to give you some advice, my friend. Hi, sweetie. I've been thinking about something. Can we talk? Of course. What is on your mind? I think we can get you some better clothes. I think if we go shopping together to buy some new clothes for you, it could be fun. What do you think? My clothes. But I think my clothes are fine. I know, dear. But new clothes can give a fresh look. And it can make you feel good, too. But I don't like shopping. It's boring. And I never know what to buy. That's why I want to go with you. Because I can help you. It will be fun, I promise. I don't know. I don't really want to spend money on new clothes. Don't worry. We won't buy anything you don't like. We can look at the clothes, try them on, and only buy what you feel good in. I'm not sure. I don't like trying on clothes. That's okay. Many people don't. But it's a part of shopping. And remember, I will be there with you. We can make it fun. Will it take a long time? It could take some time. But it doesn't have to take all day. And after, we can do something you like. Maybe watch a movie or eat at your favorite place. That sounds a little better, but I'm still not sure. That's okay. You don't have to decide now. Just think about it. I think it can be good for you. Okay, I will think about it. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate it. Hey, James. Did you watch the soccer game last night? Hi, Peter. Yes, I did. It was a great game, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Both of the teams played well. Yeah, I agree. I was so happy when our team scored the first goal, though. Me too. And that goal was really good. The player ran fast with the ball, and then he kicked it into the goal. Yes, that was a great moment. The goalkeeper from the other team couldn't stop it. Yeah, he tried, but he couldn't. That shot was too powerful. Yes, and then in the second half, our team scored another goal. That made me very happy. Yeah, me too. I was cheering a lot. I was watching the game at home with my family. We were all cheering. That sounds fun. I was watching the game at a friend's house. There were many of us, and we were all cheering too. That's good. It's always fun to watch a game with friends. Yes, it is. And when the game ended, we were all so happy that our team won. Yeah, me too. It was a good game. I'm glad I watched it. Me too. I'm looking forward to the next game. I hope our team wins again. Yes, I hope so too. Let's watch the next game together. That sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. If you want to continue learning English today, click on this video here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video.